Hello and welcome back. Today we are taking another look at Don Whitney's book, Praying the Bible, and today we are looking at chapter 9, and the topic of this chapter is praying for blessing. Praying for blessing. Well, Whitney has been helping us throughout this book uh, to pray uh, differently, to, to not pray the same old thing. One of our problems in prayer can be that we just keep saying the same thing today that we said yesterday as we said the day before, and he's helping us to not keep doing that. And one of the best ways we can do that is to pray the Bible and to pray, as it were, through the Bible, so, so that you're not just praying Genesis every day, the next, perhaps the next time you're preaching or praying through Exodus and then through Leviticus, and you can pray through the Bible. And to, as, as we do that, we make our prayers honestly more consistent with God's will, right? Consider just your own desire uh, to be blessed. Many, many parents pray that God will bless their children, but they actually pray, God, I want you to bless my children in the way that I want them to be blessed, or uh, my kids really want this, so give them that. And perhaps that's not best for your children. Uh, and so what we recognize is, as we learn what God wants for us and for our children and for just all believers, we will, uh, as we learn that and we pray those things for them, we will pray in ways that are more helpful to our children. Because again, we're praying that they would get what God wants them to have. Now, now you can pray uh, this way. Uh, not just for your children. We're going to use that as an example because that's the example in this chapter. But you can pray blessings for yourself, uh, for a fellow church member, for a neighbor, and so on. You can pray for others. Uh, but our example today will be praying uh, for children. And again, by praying throughout the Bible, we keep the uh, prayer for blessing fresh, right? We're not praying the same. We're not always going to pray the same verse every day. We'll pray one verse one day, and the next next day we might go to another psalm or another part of the Bible and pray. And so here's here's a brief example uh, that that Whitney gives about praying for several days in a row for your children. So so perhaps one day you'll pray for your children Psalm 23, and you'll say, uh, Lord, uh, be the shepherd to my children. Help them to be led by you. I want you to protect them. I want you to lead them beside stillers. I want you to refresh their soul. I want you to feed them on your word. And so on and on we could pray for God to be the shepherd for our children. And perhaps the next day you would read a chapter there from 1 Corinthians 13, that great love chapter of the Bible. And you'll say, Lord, help my children to love, right? Help my children to love you the most. Help my children to love others. Out of their love for you, may they love other people. And so we are, we're just praying that our children will be characterized and their lives will be characterized by love. And perhaps the next day you'd pray, pray Psalm 1, right? May my children meditate on your word day and night, right? And as they are, may they be like a tree planted by water. May they be established and strong in their faith as they have meditated on your word and have been strengthened by you. And perhaps the next day you'll pray, pray Galatians 5, that, that chapter that talks about spiritual fruit. And you'll say, Lord, help my children to develop spiritual fruit by the work of the Holy Spirit in their lives. So help them to walk in obedience to the Spirit. And on we could pray that fruit would happen in their lives by God producing that fruit in their lives by the Spirit. And perhaps the next day you'd come back to a psalm and maybe you'd pray Psalm 139. May my children sense the presence of the Lord daily. May they not neglect you throughout the day, but think about you. And may they praise you. And may they praise you for your greatness and for your mighty works. And on and on we could pray uh, for our children that they would uh, love the Lord and, and, and walk faithfully with the Lord. And, and again, this is just a little sample of ways that you could pray for, for your children or pray for others or pray for yourself and how the Bible itself gives you a variety of things to pray about. All the things are characterized by what God, by what God wants to see in the lives of people. And so we pray those things into the lives of those we love and pray those things into our own life. And this is the way, in this way, the Bible helps us to pray for blessing in the way that God means for us to be blessed.